Welcome to Season 2, Episode 2 of Reverse the Relapse. And today we are exploring what version of yourself are you committed to? You're in the right place if you're ready to stop the sabotage and weight regain post weight loss surgery. Hi, I'm Georgie Beams. I'm a psychologist who works in the area of emotional eating, sabotage and weight regain for weight loss surgery patients. I have experience working in a weight loss surgery clinic, as well as supporting women online to reverse the relapse. I honestly believe that psychology should be a mandatory part of everyone's weight loss surgery journey. Your body has had an upgrade to version 2.0 after surgery, but your mind is most likely operating at version 1.0, which is your old pre-surgery mind. You're here to update your mind to match your body and get back on your weight loss path. And I'm here to help you. So this was me back in the day, and this is what I see many women say as well. They're waiting for the right time to change, to take action. They're waiting for this motivation out there, right? (laughs) Um, External to them. So the, the right time, the perfect time, they're waiting for all their circumstances to align. It can sound like I'll start again tomorrow, hoping and praying that tomorrow something will suddenly shift. It didn't shift this morning, but in our mind, the story we tell ourselves is that something will shift tomorrow. So tomorrow I won't have a craving or tomorrow I am not going to eat chocolate at 9 p.m. at night. So I want to talk to you about commitment because the way to change is to set commitments and to follow through on our commitments, even when we don't feel like it. It's not about circumstances of, you know, until I feel like it, until I feel motivated or until the kids are back at school or until um, I feel less tired, right? That's version 1.0 because chances are you're never going to get there, right? You ne- that time is never going to come. There'll be another circumstance and another circumstance and another circumstance. And that's going to keep you locked into that version 1.0 struggle. Everything is a commitment. The question is, which version of yourself are you committed to? So I used to be really committed to my exercise, right? That's always been a part of my identity. So it's come very natural to me. So when it's part of your identity, you don't need willpower. Like I just used to love, and I still do, I love exercising. I used to love going to the gym. Now I've got a home gym. I love getting up and and doing my thing. Back in the day when I was going to the gym, I would have no trouble getting up at 5 a.m. in the morning and lining up to go to the gym when it was cold and dark in the middle of winter. But then what happened is I would come home and I would end up having a huge portion at dinner, like often kind of almost like two meals. And then there'd be a lot of nighttime snacking because I had that all or nothing thinking of almost like once I start, let's, you know, I've written, written it off now. Let's just keep going. So the story that I told myself was that I'm committed with my exercise, right? I was being my version 2.0 self in this area, but I'm not a committed person at night when it comes to my eating. I just can't do it. I've got no willpower. I've got no self-control. But the thing that I didn't realize was that I was committing to my version 1.0 self at night, I would start the day being committed to my version 2.0 every morning, my workout, look at me, I'm up at 5 a.m. everyone, I've done my spin class (laughs) and then I was feeling good, right, because all the endorphins had kicked in, I'd come home and eat a healthy breakfast, but come night time, my version 1.0 self was out sabotaging and unraveling all of my good work from the morning. So I'd take one step forward and I'd take two steps back. So at the top of the day was my version 2.0 self and the tail of the day was my version 1.0 self. So let's dig in and start to uncover some of your commitment patterns. So what I recommend you do is write down your version 1.0 commitments. So could it be 
giving in to a craving every night at 9 p.m. when you're alone, which is what I was doing? Um, Is it around portions, version 1.0 portions? Does it look like maybe even playing games on your phone for one hour, like really numbing out type of behaviours and maybe snacking at the same time? Does it look more like being committed to the couch instead of out moving your body? So I want you to write all those out, your version 1.0 commitments. So what are you committing to? So have a look at any of those habits that are version 1.0 habits because they're your commitments. Then what I want you to do is go to the other side of the page and I want you to list down what are your current 2.0 commitments. So for instance, what would have been on my page was going to the gym every morning and starting the day with a really good breakfast. Um, You can even add listening to this podcast on your version 2.0 commitment list. Maybe what you do really well is meal planning or meal prepping to ensure you've got great choices available. Maybe it's making a great choice when you're eating out. Maybe you've committed to wearing your version 2.0 outfits and feeling good when you get dressed every day. So after you've written down that list, now what I want you to do is choose one thing from version 1.0 list that you will move across. You're going to commit to moving that across to the version 2.0 list. So start by choosing something small, something you can do consistently as well. Our brain doesn't like these big, 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 overwhelming goals and lots of big change. We hate, our brain hates change. (laughs) We want to start small. It's all about baby steps, but committing to it and doing it consistently, even when you don't feel like it. So maybe you could move breakfast. Okay, so every day you focus on starting your day as your version 2.0 self, having your version 2.0 breakfast instead of maybe having a version 1.0, say like a toasted sandwich or toast, you might decide to have an egg or a shake or something that really sets you up as your version 2.0 self. So decide what that will look like for you. So taking that version 1.0 old way, and moving it across to that version 2.0 column. Set that commitment and show up for yourself. And when we set our commitments, this is how we build trust in ourselves. So I'd love you to come and share one thing with me on the socials. I'd love to hear it. Keep chipping away. This is how we change. Thank you for being here, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye for now. If you loved the content in this podcast, you have to come and check out my book. It's called Weight Loss Surgery Secrets, Why You Haven't Been Able to Get to or Stay at Your Goal Weight After Surgery. I delve into these deeper, juicy sabotage topics in the book. So come and check it out at book.georgiebeams.com.